right, so I finished up uh, mowing the lawn, trimming it. Now it's time to blow it off with the leaf blower. But when I went to go use my leaf blower, this is what happened. Nothing. Turn it on. Nothing. Nothing at all. So basically, it's not working. I flipped the switch. Nothing comes on. You can see that's on the in the two position, but when I bang it, you can hear the brush just turn it over. So I'm pretty sure it's a brush issue. This was a pretty good coral that I like. Lasted a very long time. Oh, it's a it's a rake and back. We'll get a new one. We'll unbox it for you. All right, so the new blower came in. Uh, this is the Toro Ultra electric blower vac. Uh, claims up to speeds of 250 miles an hour. Has variable controls. It has a new larger impeller. Drives power and improved mulching. And it says it, it makes 88% of the stuff you suck up into it less than a half inch in size. It's pretty cool for mulching. Here's a picture of it. It also includes the Toro leaf collector. It hooks up to a little bag like that. You can suck up all the leaves. And Toro claims you can't buy a more powerful electric blower vac than a Toro. All right, so let's uh, open this thing up. There's a little picture of it. What's everything that's included? Easy storage. Ooh, and, and cord management. That's always always great. There's a little air horsepower rating. All right, let's get to it. All right, so I'm just going to be taking this stuff out of the box. Let's see what's in here. Some nozzles. Bag. Okay, so basically here's everything that came in the box here. Your main piece here. This is uh, your ultra blower back. This is the main body. This is the blower tube right here. It has the power attachment here. And this is the super narrow version to get into really hard places. And this is what holds on the blower part to the engine part right back there. And these are for your vacuum system. You hook them up to the bottom where the propeller is. It actually sucks the leaves up and puts them in a bag, which you have here. Or you have this hose system, which actually attaches to like a trash barrel. And you cover it and puts it right into the barrel. So it's kind of cool. Important safety instructions and insulation and owner's manual and all that fun stuff is right there. And I'm going to put this together for you. Okay, so putting this thing together is pretty straightforward. You have your main body. And uh, you're going to take your connection that uh, is the blower part of it that shoots the air out. Slide it on like that. You're going to take your bracket. You're going to put it on the back. Put it along there. It snaps in. You are ready to blow right now. Okay. Take this off. There's your variable speed drive. Okay. Now, if you were wanting to use this as a vacuum, you have to do it a little bit different. So we're going to take it apart. Take both these off. And we're going to assemble our vacuum section here. This just fits in there and locks in place. Of course, it's being stubborn. There we go. All right, make sure that's flush in there. Now this piece hooks into the bottom like so. Okay. So now it's going to be a vacuum and you hook your bag up to here. We'll get you a bag. The 
bag connects just like so. So it has a shoulder strap. You can strap it around your uh, your shoulder there, walk around, it'll suck up all the leaves, and put them into this nice little bag. So that's kind of handy. All right, so to put it back together into blowing mode, um, it's fully assembled, ready to go. I'm gonna hook up the extension cord and we're gonna try it out. So I got it hooked up, we're gonna go for, for our first blow, see how it works. So this thing claims to have a max speed of 250 miles an hour. I don't know if you can believe that or not, but they claim this bad boy can get up to 250 mile an hour wind. Uh, we got uh, all the stuff in the street and the sidewalk to blow around and gather up. And I'll show you how the Toro uh, picks the stuff up after you're done getting it into a pile. Grass is super green. Let's get down here low and take a look at it. See how it's looking? looking? Pretty good. That's nice and green. I like that. The temperatures right now are in the 90s, so it's handling it pretty well right now. Alright, I took uh, the time to blow all this stuff into a little pile and I used my leaf blower, my new Toro, and you just basically walk in circles around it to make the pile and then I'm going to pick it up with the bagging attachment and show you how that works. All right, it's all set up into vacuum mode. Look, what we're going to do is put that on my shoulder, and we're going to vacuum up that big old mess over there. See all those leaves? I'll show you how this works, because it comes in quite handy. All right, that big old pile is going to be all sucked up. It does blow very well. It gets about 250 miles an hour and it definitely moves stuff very well. I'm, uh, I'm happy with the performance of this little guy. Let's see. It is a little bit heavier than my other one. I could actually you know, feel a difference because it does have a metal impeller instead of a plastic one. And I'm a fan of that because it's actually going to handle you know, when I mulch leaves and stuff instead of uh, blowing them all over the place. It also has a variable speed which is nice too. My other one did not have that. You can see there on the controllers, the plus and the minus. So you can adjust it to real soft or turn it all the way up and it just blows really, really hard. You got some cord management also on here so you can wrap your extension cord to keep it nice and tidy. You know, I'm, I'm pretty impressed. 
and I picked this up. Uh, I got it for fifty dollars and thirty-six cents, delivered to my home. So I'm definitely happy about that. Didn't have to go out and do any shopping. Didn't have to go to any stores or wait in any lines. So um, yeah, the fifty-one thirty-six. If you can get it for about fifty bucks, it's a great deal. It works for what I need it for. I don't have a huge yard. I, I use an electric because I don't have a really big yard. I'm happy with my purchase. All right, well that's gonna wrap it up for another edition of the Grassy House. I wanna thank you for joining me. If you wanna stay tuned, and we got some dog footage. We got Bear and Sadie um, playing in the backyard. So uh, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment, hit that notification bar so you can see the next episode of the Grassy House. And thank you for joining me. All day long. Mom and son. They sound vicious, but they're playing. Somebody get in the water. It's hot out here. Get in that water. Come on, Baron, get in there. Oh, Sadie's like, ooh, what's going on here? Can someone get in the water, please? There you go. I didn't even drink it. I think bear's going in. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he likes this. Pansy. You little pansy, it's hot out here. I just want to mess with my mom, he says. Hey guys. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Just one large drinking bowl for them. Actually, Bear gets in there. He bites the water. Sticks his head in there. Let's go check out the garden. It's coming along pretty good. Should probably turn that water off, huh? <laughs> those jalapenos getting up in there. All those tomatoes. Ooh. Going along good. <laughs>